Hi guys, how you doing? DJ AJ 101 here. I'm here to give you guys my little quickie review of the Reefverse 21 inch iMac and of course the Mackie Bluetooth wireless keyboard for the Mac. Kind of a little quickie review of both. Uh, as I had said in my prior unboxing videos, of course of the keyboard and of the iMac. Uh, these are actually not for me, these are actually for my aunt, but I want to give you guys a little quickie review, at least my thoughts, in case you were looking at getting either. Um, just to kind of maybe sway your decision a little bit, whether to get it or to not get it. First of all, um, 21 and a half inch iMac, Apple's newest model that they have all right now. It's a refurb model. Um, went through the entire setup just like I did with my MacBook Pro when I first got it. Um, once again, uh, very simple, um, step by step process. Um, updated all the programs she's going to need on it. And um, Honestly, I, I can't say anything bad about it. I think the display is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that, I think that's one of the first things I noticed about the display is that it just puts my Acer 22-inch screen that I have here using my MacBook Pro to shame. This thing is is absolutely beautiful. It's the colors, the crispness, the clarity, the brightness. If I put it all the way up, it's just marvelous. It's absolutely incredible. This display is, of course, uh, full 1920 by 1080p so it can display HD resolution that was playing um, just some uh, YouTube HD clips that I had downloaded and uh, they look fantastic I, I don't think I've ever seen a better display than this one I think uh, if there's anything that's just worth it for this computer alone um, the display has got to be at least 90 percent of it because it's absolutely gorgeous I can't think of a thing wrong with it besides the fact that it's glossy you can see the glare in the back um, that kind of drives me with the wall I'm not necessarily a glossy type of person but for some people it's absolutely fine. I have two windows in my room so you know that may be one of the um, things that kind of makes it you know as glary as it is but you know for some people they do like glossy and I can see one of the benefits. I mean the colors just pop and the crispness and the detail is just there in the display and it's absolutely gorgeous. But anyways that's my deal on the display. The computer itself fast. Ultra responsive. If I want to go down here and I want to open up Firefox it's up in at least two to three seconds. Calendar bam right up system preferences it's up you know this has got to be the most responsive computer and I'm sure it's because it's only a day or two old um, but all the third-party applications that I've installed on here um, open up just as fast it's amazingly awesome I think that I've ever seen it's 7200 RPM 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive in it uh, stock configuration 2 gigs of RAM as I think I'd said in the unboxing video but lightning quick machine for a core 2 duo um, my MacBook Pro is a 2.5 gigahertz core 2 duo and it has a solid state drive I say this thing matches my MacBook Pro at least at, at its state right now of it being brand new of the speed by at least 90 to 95 percent of everything that um, my MacBook Pro does with the solid state as far as the quickness level is concerned um, so anyways uh, you know this is just a couple of the main points I want to talk about I think it's uh, great you know the only thing that I guess I really kind of eh, not too hot about I guess is the fact that it has uh, the USB ports in the back they are kind of a pain to get I suppose because it's a brand new computer you know it is kind of hard to kind of wiggle them into the USB ports and then you gotta, gotta hang on to it and jerk it out and so it, it's a new system um, you can tell but I don't think that's a bad thing at all I think it's an absolutely gorgeous computer I think if you're in the market for one especially a refurbished model you know like I was saying before there, this thing is absolutely flawless I cannot see uh, anything wrong with it. I mean it came in all the original plastic wrappings. Um, it was just, I would say it's like a brand new one, at least from the unboxing that I've seen here on YouTube. I don't know about you guys, but it looked brand new. It was a refurb, saved 200 bucks on it. Um, one hell of a deal I think if you're looking for an IMAX. So I would say, you know, if you're in the market for one of these, I absolutely recommend it 110 percent. I have never seen a display, uh, the display alone just wows me it's an amazing display. I know you guys can't see it because of all the glare and everything but trust me this display is absolutely outstanding. It's outstanding. The clarity is just unreal. I, I don't know any other way to display I don't know any other way to explain it but um, I know I'm sugarcoating it a lot but this is a great computer. If you're definitely in the market for a refurb don't be afraid buy it. If anything else is like this one or the one or the MacBook Pro I got for a friend of mine about a year back um, you know, this is probably the proof in the pudding. Apple definitely sells grade A refurbished products. They don't come in all the original packaging, but I say the overall product itself, 
easily 100% as good as the uh, brand new Models Plus. You get the discount because of it being a refurbished model, depending on what you buy, you know, two or $300 if it's an iMac, MacBook Pro, Mac Pro, whatever. Anyways, that's enough about the Mac. I want to give you a quick overview, of course, of the Mac Cality keyboard. Uh, this keyboard I did an unboxing on. Um, I had also mentioned in the boxing I'm not too fond of this older style. I definitely like the newer chiclet style keyboards that Apple has and the uh, ultra thin aluminum ones. So that's the one I use. But I have to say, this ain't this one ain't too bad. Um, it has all the indicator lights up here. Uh, pairing was very very easy with the Mac. Now that I have it set up, um, set up was easy as using a uh, Mac OS X's Bluetooth um, setup assistant. And now every time you just keep it on. Um, and if you replace the batteries, you just gotta press the pairing button in the back. The blue pairing light will blink, um, automatically detects it. Go right up to the Bluetooth, um, press connect. It's connected within a matter of seconds. And if you just keep it on, uh, automatically connects every time. Didn't have a problem with it anytime I turned on the computer. So it's absolutely fantastic. I think for anyone that wants a full fledged wireless keyboard and likes kind of this older style, not the chiclet style ones that Apple has. Um, you're going to be happy with this one. I can't say much more about it because, like I said, I'm kind of a fan of the chiclet style. But I was overall impressed with this one as far as the quality. It's been it's been great the past two days that I've actually had a chance to use it. I've tried to use it quite a bit, and I said, you know, I you know honestly, if I wasn't using this keyboard, this one might be my close second because honestly, the keys don't push in as deep as some of the older ones did. It it does have kind of a nice um, whatever type of keyboard you want to call this. Uh, kind of like a light chiclety style, kind of like this one, it's just the keys aren't spaced as far apart. But, you know, other than that, um, I absolutely recommend this keyboard. It's in the unboxing. It's the NT wireless Bluetooth keyboard for the Mac. I'll have a link for it in the sidebar for you guys. And you can also go back and check up my unboxing of it if you want all the other information uh, as far as the packaging, what you can expect. Anyway, guys, this has just been my quick review of the 21 and a half inch refurbished iMac and the BT Bluetooth wireless keyboard for the Mac. I hope I helped a lot of you guys out. I've rambled on long enough. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.